Hey, I'm sending you lots of blessings and love from these green woods. <laughs> I want to share today life's greatest secret for manifesting, what we can apply to our lives so we can manifest things faster. And we can by that eventually change our life and choose different directions which will be leading us into certain destinations which we want to experience so what is that life's greatest secret which every guru every teacher every spiritual leader every entrepreneur is talking about it i mean not every entrepreneur but those who 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 are aware more about the law of attraction or the the laws of the universe are talking about it, how they've achieved things that they have achieved. And you know, the life greatest secret is gratitude. Being grateful for the things which we would like to experience, which we would like to have. But the greatest question here is how to be grateful for the things which we don't have yet. How to be grateful for the things or the moments which we would like to experience but they didn't happen yet. And I know that I can see in the comments on my videos so many questions about how to feel gratitude at this moment. How to feel gratitude if I am sad. How to feel gratitude if I am stressed. How to feel gratitude if I am angry. And you know what, as long as we are sad and angry and we are in these different negative experiences, we can't feel greater than our environment. But our environment is always the same as our thoughts, feelings and emotions because that's from where we are perceiving our environment. From there we are seeing the world around us. You know, we are always seeing the world around us the way we are at that certain moment. So, if we are sad at that moment, we will see, we will see sad things around us. For example, a great thing which, which we can see in our environment. If we are angry and we want to watch a random movie, we don't know which movie, but we will randomly click on one movie this movie will probably show certain angry people or the whole story will be based on the anger or something like that it happened to me so many times and I was talking with people who said the same I want to say that as soon as we change our perspective our environment will change as well and if we can for a moment in a day just close our eyes and focus on what we already have we will become more grateful for it and we can also turn on that gratitude for the things we already have but now we are grateful for what we have and from that moment if we are still you know staying in that situation <laughs> i mean staying in that moment of gratitude now think about what you would like to experience what kind of moments you would like to experience, what kind of things you would like to have. Still with your closed eyes. Try to imagine it. And after you will imagine it, become grateful as it is already yours. For example, I already have it. Become grateful for it. And that's how we become grateful for the things we don't have already. Because in our daily lives it's much, much harder to do it because intellectually our mind is shifting between things that are happening to us, around us, the people who are talking with us. Intellectually we can't see greater things than what surrounds us. We can't see greater things than that. So it's so important to took a time in your day to just close your eyes, be grateful for what you have 
but also be grateful for what you want to have because gratitude is attracting more of what you are grateful for. Gratitude is attracting more of what you are grateful for. So become more grateful because when we are practicing this gratitude we will become greater at it so sooner or later we will find out that I don't need meditating to be grateful. I don't need to close my eyes to get into that zone of gratitude. I can be grateful all day long. So I'm sending you all blessings and love. I hope it was helpful. Let me know if it was helpful and see you in the next video.